our first guest, who's no stranger to our home, she's starring in Hallmark Channel's very first Easter movie, Easter Under Wraps. Please welcome back to our home, Fiona Gubelman. Yeah, Fiona, welcome. Back. Welcome, Fiona. Good love having Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. This is a big deal. I mean, it's Hallmark Channel's first. Easter movie. I was kind of in shock. I, I thought we'd already had Easter movies. I was too. I couldn't believe it when I when I heard that. But here you are, and we've been talking a little bit about this movie, um, you know, through the weeks. Uh, but it's so much fun. You you back, you basically work for your family's chocolate company, but you go undercover to the factory. Yes. To kind of figure out why sales are a bit down. Which, by the way, as an actress, that's got to be a blast. <laughs> sort of like undercover boss. I mean, I like right? it. Exactly. <laughs> that was kind of the inspiration behind it. So yeah, I get to go. Um, I I play Aaron Cavendish, and I go undercover. And um, while I'm there, I, uh, I meet the head chocolatier, and uh, we kind of butt heads at first, uh, but then we find a way to revitalize sales for the company, and we create the legendary Cavendish egg. Well, we kind of revitalize it. It was there before, but we make a new one. And, uh, you know, maybe we fall in love. Oh, there's well. chocolate, so there's probably love. Don't, don't they say that <laughs> chocolate and love um, release the same endorphins? I think you know, some, I heard that somewhere. If they don't, they do now. Yeah, yeah. They do now. I heard that somewhere. So yeah. you're, lots of endorphins <laughs> happening in this movie. Well, we have a clip where Brian, your potential love interest, is um, showing your character the proper way to taste chocolate, which I didn't know was a thing, but it's apparently okay. it is. Yes. Let's take a look. I'm getting creme de cacao, a little bit of orange zest, and just a, just a flutter of amaretto. You got all of that from one bite. You just need to open up your heart and listen to what the chocolate's telling you. <laughs> it's that easy. That's what Gabriel Belanger says. The chocolatier? He's one of the world's best chocolatiers. It's always been a dream of mine to go to Switzerland and study with him at a school. It's never too late. Maybe. Ah, this is old Bill Wallum's recipe. Your turn. No, 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 no. You have to close your eyes. It helps focus your taste buds. <laughs> okay, so you're getting... Shh. I'm trying to open my heart and listen to the chocolate. <laughs> I'm getting strong notes of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> We have chemistry between the two that of you. Pardon really the pun. Yeah. But by the way, I got to point out Brendan Penny, who plays Brian, I, a friend of mine. I've worked with him before. One of the funniest guys you will ever meet. It's hard to work with him because we're laughing all the time. He is we so would funny. get in trouble because we'd be laughing so hard and we couldn't get the other scenes. And the director was like, <laughs> well, you guys, seriously, get it together. I know. But just, like, it's, it's so funny. Hilarious. It hurts. But also, that yes. makes it so great to go to work. You know what I mean? Yes. What To, to ha it's actually true. have a job where you just go to work and laugh and play. Oh I mean, gosh. you can't get any better Absolutely. than that. And well, eat chocolate. Eat chocolate. Yeah. Yes. I was going <laughs> to yeah. say, we got to eat chocolate. So. How much chocolate did you actually eat? Because, yes, you are acting, but you have to eat the chocolate. About 10 pounds, probably. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> People have to understand wow. there's take after take, right? I mean, explain yeah, how that yeah. works. And at first you're like, oh, okay. And then after a while you're like, okay, I can't I can't do any more chocolate. Like, I just need to break <laughs> the chocolate. <laughs> because they do the same scene several over times from different over, angles and, over, and read over, chocolate and all day. Over. And we, we had this real chocolatier come and he would be making chocolate oh, and wow. it was so good. And I mean, liquid chocolate, you guys. Well, liquid it, chocolate. it's funny you mentioned liquid chocolate because we, uh, you weren't just eating chocolate, you were also drinking it. Yeah, and we have some video to prove <laughs> this. Okay. I think I might actually like liquid chocolate better than the chocolate itself because right. w wouldn't that be like the cookie dough versus the cookie? I'm guessing Absolutely. it would be. Is that be. what it was like? What was it, was it like? It was so good, and it was it was like drinking what you think hot chocolate should taste like, right? Oh, it was it man. was magical. Hot chocolate was for sure. That brings hot chocolate to all the level. <laughs> you'll, never oh, you'll never have hot it's chocolate. Literally again. hot chocolate. Yeah. That's what it is. It is. Yeah. But you got to work with a real chocolatier. <laughs> you got to work with real chocolate making equipment. In the I mean, it must have been well, like a kid in a candy store. Right. It was incredible. I felt like it was like our own little Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory movie. It was really fun. Well, I know that um, you know you're doing this Easter movie, and Easter holds a, a very 
near and dear spot in your heart. Not just because it's one of the best holidays, but also because it's your birthday. <laughs> oh. Easter falls on your birthday sometimes, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It? Yeah, and so um, it's pretty special getting to, you know, have such a great holiday on your birthday sometimes. I think it's coming up soon again. It's only every few years. Like, it's not every year. Yeah, right, of right. course, because it changes. Yeah. But so do you set, when, when it does fall on your birthday, is it the biggest celebration ever? Well, it's my birthday, so yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Easter just happens to kind of be around on your birthday. Yeah, oh, when like it there falls I was when day. I was six. Oh, my amazing. <laughs> Cute photos. I love seeing Thank all those you. photos. Oh, do you have an Easter bunny cake if it's your birthday? I should. I really <gasps> should. Yeah. Oh my god, with like lots of little chocolate yeah. eggs, chocolate peanut butter eggs. Oh my, I love chocolate. Cavendish eggs. Yes. Excuse yeah. me. I'm sorry, the, the Cavendish, Cavendish eggs. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> yes. That you've perfected <laughs> yes. uh, in this movie. Well, since you're such an expert on um, uh, Easter candy, we have a little quiz for you. Oh no. We want to put oh, you right. to test a little bit. Okay, okay. you guys ready for this? Okay, play along at home. You can try and answer. All right, here we go. Here's the first question. How many chocolate bunnies are produced each year? You got a choice. Okay. 100 million? Yeah, it's, not multiple, it's multiple choice. Okay. 100 million is uh, choice A, or 1 million B. I'm going to go with 100 million A. Well, yes! Yeah. Right. I'm surprised because I thought that was high. Well, a million, if you think about it, is only... I mean, how not many people much. are in the U.S.? Yeah, a million. That's right. like I guess I not even a million myself. Like, you know, so. yeah. I was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> All right, our next one. We'll see if you're you're as good as this one. I, I didn't get this one right either. Okay. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the largest chocolate Easter egg, Easter egg, not okay. Easter bunny, Easter egg ever made was how tall? 25 feet A or B, 34 feet. Oh my gosh. That's, um, that's big. Either one. But yeah, either one is huge. I could climb into either. Um, I would say <laughs> just eat it from the inside out. Um, I'm going to guess 25 feet. I don't know why. Oh! oh. I guess 25 feet too. Yeah. Right. So 34 close. feet is three stories high plus some. Yeah, it that's is. That's a three story building. I mean, that's right there. That's the 25. That's as big as our house. It's bigger than that. <laughs> basketball nets, you could say that too. I mean, that's high. Wow. Here we go. Wait, where's question number three? Oh, no, I don't I've got wanna, it right no, here. I'm tied. Okay. Here this we go. The most popular non chocolate Easter candy is what? A, jelly beans. B, peeps. Um, I would say peeps. <gasps> Well, Deb, that's well, okay. That, you're not a big sweet person. I'm not a big sweet person, but I love Easter. And you know, since you love Easter so much, and since it sometimes falls on your birthday, and you're a chocolate maker, <laughs> we thought perhaps we would help you have a little early Easter celebration. Right. Love it. Full love. Debbie oh and I God. made these ourselves. Right. These are the best. I'm going to cover that and say Cavendish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put a sticker on it. So, you know, my family, we do, I love Seas chocolates. And we do, um, every year we do like a little Easter egg hunt, the adults do, uh, where my sister's in laws hide the Seas chocolate eggs throughout the property. And then all the adults go and look for them. And it's so what much fun. Idea. So, See? now I have my own. But you know what? Yeah. Perfect you did Don't this hide anything. I'm not sharing these. Those are for you. <laughs> it's perfect for you. Hey, everyone, thank well, you guys. thank you for being here. Be sure to watch Fiona and Easter Under Wraps Saturday, April 20th at 9, 8 central, right here on Hallmark Channel.